being pushed into a new school setting can be difficult for any student. Uh, this happens often in cases when a student isn't fluent in the language of his or her new school or country. Channel 5's Trace and Bragg explored some of the learning challenges immigrant children face. Immigration is a big topic. Law enforcement policies tend to make the headlines. Tonight, we take a look at how one student is dealing with life at school. Brian Duran was born in the United States, but when he was four, his parents decided to move back to their native Mexico. I was born here, and around when I was about four years old, uh, they went back to Mexico. Six months ago, Brian's parents decided to move their family back to America. Finding himself in a new country, new school, having to learn a new language proved difficult. The first barrier, of course, is the language. Second barrier, the kilter. And the number three, I think, that is the transition. Brian says he has to work extra hard to complete his homework. He says many times it takes him twice as long than it would take a student fluent in English. Es lo que hago básicamente todo el tiempo, pero evito hacerlo manualmente. Solo leo la oración, la traduzco en mi propia mente, y después lo escribo en inglés. Es algo, un proceso algo lento, y una de las cosas con, la que, con las que más he batallado porque es precisamente cuando las personas me hablan en inglés y en mi línea mental ya estoy pensando en español. Araceli Garza, a counselor at Donna High School, says students like Brian face challenges beyond academics. And you see those kids that are struggling and uh, are just trying to survive. You know, they're trying to survive, uh, survive academically, they're trying to survive uh, socially. You know, and because of the, the language barrier, because of the shyness and, and not feeling uh, um, that they belong, you know, uh, despite all the opportunities and the programs that we have, uh, some of them still feel very much alone. Garza says immigrant students who face these tough challenges tend to work hard. Brian assured me he's willing to do whatever it takes to become a pediatric doctor. Ms. Garza says there are 30 other students at Donna High School learning English. Those students are still expected to complete their core classes required by the state. In the studio, Trace and Bragg, Channel 5 News at 1030.